Hello everyone, VZ34T here, back with another how to play. Today we're looking at how to play the game called Mass Transit. Which is a, as it says, cooperative transportation game by Calliope Games. And it is for one to six players, ages eight and up. And like I said, it's cooperative, so you're going to be working together. Obviously you can play solo. You get this deck of cards in here, I believe it is 55 cards or something like that. Uh, you get double six, 52. You also get this board, which is actually a puzzle thing that you put together. And in the back it just says Mass Transit. And you're going to have six sides that you're playing cards off of, as you can see. You also get these six meeples. These are your commuter tokens. Commuter pawns, technically. And each one of these is going to go on one of these uh, little spots here around the board all right you're trying to do in this game is get all these commuters home where is home you might ask i'll show you home is here on these cards that are going to be played somewhere at the end of the line this one requires a bus to get home and the other thing of note here is a four this one is a number four there's i think two fours and then there's four Freeze. What that simply means is you need to play a minimum of three or four cards before you can put this one down. So, for instance, uh, you know, you'd have to have something like this in order to play the one that says number three. And then you'd be able to get this player home. If you do that with all six of these pawns and you get them home, you win. If you don't, well, you celebrate the ones that got home and... That's about it. That's all you can do. <laughs> um, so you get that. Now you basically get uh, a few different suits, if you will. The gray cards, which represent buses. Blue, which represent boats. Red, which represents trains. Three main transportation routes. You get yellow cards, which don't represent anything. They're just kind of there to expand a line, but they also usually end a line. So there's that. And there's also green cards, which are for walking. And you can see they have a walking pedestrian. So those are the main five suits. The uh, home cards are gonna be in red, blue, or gray. Requiring one of those transportations to get home. And some of the cards, as you'll see, they have a station. Whenever you have a station, that is where this player will stop. So if I play this here and move the player, he's going to stop at this station. He cannot take the train or the, uh, the water unless there is somewhere for him to land. He can't just... You know, go nowhere, basically. There has to be a station or an endpoint for him to travel that way. Now, how do you get on this card? There's two ways. One, on your turn, you could play a card that matches this symbol, the, the, this uh, transportation method. So I could discard this card, and it lets him move to the first station, or perhaps all the way home if there's no stations blocking him. The other way is to play a walk card, which lets them walk to the next station as well. We'll go over all this shortly. Now, some of the cards will have traffic signals in them, which again force you to stop there and wait. And actually, I'm not 100% sure I'd have to verify if you actually have to stop at a station. I believe you do. And some of the cards also have red exclamation marks. That means once you collect these and it's your turn, you must do them immediately. They are priorities, basically. So I'll stuff all these cards in, and each player is going to start with four cards. And you're always going to draw back up the four cards after your turn. On your turn, you must play a minimum of two cards. You can play all four if you want, but you must play a minimum of two cards. If you are at any point un un unable to play two cards, 
that is it. The game ends. So let's look at how we can play. So I got these four cards, and I can play them. So I'm going to play this one here. Maybe I'll play this one here. Maybe I'll play this one here. And then uh, maybe I'll play this one here. Why not? And now I'm going to draw back up to four. My turn is over. My opponent's going to go. He doesn't have any priorities, so he's going to just see what he's got. Um, maybe he decides to... Discard this one to move this pawn down the rail to the first stop. Let me just actually verify something here. Yeah, you have to go to the next station. Now, I believe... Yeah. If you have a card like this that has multiple different stations and you stop, let's say, here, you can then move over to one of these other ones, which allows you to continue in case you end up with a situation where uh, the road ends. But we'll just leave that for now. And you know what? He decides I'm going to discard this one and get this pawn moving. Why not? He's going to draw two cards. And he's back to me. Now, I do have one of those exclamation marks, which means I have to play that one immediately. I'm going to put it here. And then, I'm also going to play this one. It needs... Actually, no, I cannot play that one, because it needs four. Uh, yeah, that's an ugly one to play there. That, that needs four as well. <laughs> um... Those ones, I got all three stations here. They don't work anywhere, so I'm going to just stop and hold on. My opponent's going to go. He decides. He's going to play. Let's let's play this one here. And you can mix and match the colors. You don't have to play one color on any line. You can mix and match. And he plays that one there, and then maybe he plays... Maybe he uses this one. This guy's getting tired of waiting the bus, so he's just going to walk to the next stop. And then he plays this one here, perhaps, to end his turn. He's going to draw some more cards. Now it's my turn. I would like to complete one of these lines, if I can. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to play this one here. And... Now that I got four cards, I can play this one, which is four. Now, this one, you have to get home by boat, which is not going to happen, actually. <laughs> let's, um, hmm. let's do this. I'll put that one there. And then I end my turn. So then my opponent's going to go. He says, you know what? I don't have any train cards, but... He has to play this one, because it's a X exclamation mark, so he's just going to walk this person to the next train station. Maybe he plays this one here. And then he ends his turn. Now it comes back to me. I don't even recall if I actually played two cards on my last turn. I think I did. <laughs> um, Unfortunately, I cannot... I got a lot of train stations. I cannot play these ones to move. Any cards that have an, a, this symbol in the corner means you cannot use them to move a player. And that's the station cards and the yellow cards that are going to have that. So, mm, I guess I'm going to play this one here. And, you know what? I'm kind of boned. I have no choice. I have to play two cards on my turn, so I have no choice but to play this one here. And that's uh, unfortunate because there's no way for this person to get from this station to this. <laughs> because there's no connection. There's no stations on these rail lines. So we're boom. This guy's stuck. He's stuck there. He's not going anywhere. In order for him to move from there, we'd have to have a card like this here. That would let him go to here and then 
Actually, that doesn't work either because those are both dead ends. Would that work? That doesn't work. Hmm. <laughs> We'd have to have a couple more cards in there that would let him shift from the road to the train station. And there's no way for him to get there. He's stuck. So, anyways, <laughs> that can happen. But you keep going around, building off all six sides, try to get these six commuters home. And if you do that, which I have failed to do, then they make it. Now, this player would go here, play this card, perhaps move this guy over here. And then, you know, he has to play this one technically, so he might as well play it here. And then he's going to end his turn. And I will draw two cards, and they will draw two cards. The game's not over. This guy's stuck, but the game is not over because you still have pawns that can move. But yeah, that's the gist of it. It's a pretty cool game. Good quality components. These are just plastic, in case you're wondering, I do believe. Maybe they're wood, actually. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, pretty nice game for what it is. Then you can play solo, you can play cooperatively. I should mention one thing regarding communication. You cannot, may not, tell other players exactly what is in your hand. I cannot say, hey, I have a couple of stations in my hand that I can play. You can't do that. You also cannot say... Hey, don't play here. I'm, I'm going to play there. You cannot tell people where you're going to play or what you have. However, you can make little hints and say vague things like, this could be a great express route. Or, I really like boat taking a boat. Or, I really like taking trains. Or, whatever you want. You can use little vague hints like that to get around the red tape, shall we say. But you can never actually indicate what your next move is. So that is the game in a nutshell though. Hopefully that makes sense. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think. We will see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.